Oh, one minute, Monique. I am playing to you. To that. Yeah, you can start now. A very good evening to one and all present here. I am Anjana Krishnan, Secretary of IEEE Photonics Society and ex-com member of IEEE ADSF site. Here to host today's workshop on engineering in deep sea fisheries organized by the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, St. Joseph's Institute of Technology. It's a great honor in welcoming our IEEE ADSF chair, Angeline Indra, ma'am, Vice Chair, Professor Nityavadi, Madam, Secretary, Professor Bino, sir, Joint Secretary, Mr. Chinta Sharat Chandra, Treasurer, Dr. M. Maheshwadi, ma'am, XCOM Organizer, Ajit, sir, and XCOM members, Mr. Paulson David, sir, Catherine, madam, and Mr. J. Vincent, sir. Thank you all for joining us today. On behalf of the department, I'd like to extend my first and foremost gratitude to our chairman, Dr. B. Babu Manoharan, sir, managing director, Mrs. S. Jessi Priya, ma'am, executive director, Mr. B. Shashi Shekhar, sir, and our respected principal, Dr. P. Ravi Chandran, sir, for providing us this wonderful opportunity. On this pleasant day, I'd like to welcome Mr. J. Vincent Jain, sir. I'd like to thank you for accepting our invitation and being our guest of honor for this occasion. We are extremely delighted and grateful to have you here, sir. I'd also like to take this opportunity to extend my gratitude to our head of the department, Dr. C. Nyana Kausilya, Madam, Staff and Student Affairs, and Dr. G. Rohini, Madam, Lab Affairs, for their endless support. Last but not the least, I'd like to welcome the students gathered here for the session. It gives me immense joy to welcome you all to make this event a grand success. Now, I'd like to invite Beryl Daphne, from the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering to give the citation about our speaker. I guess Bedrill is currently unavailable, so I will leave him stuck. Uh, Mr. J. Vincent Jain, sir, is presently working as Deputy Chief Executive of South Indian Federation of Fishermen Societies. He is having multiple postgraduate degrees in economics, business administration, and ecology and environment. Earlier, he was a school teacher in Nagaland and project associate in Center for Management Development, Trivandrum. Mm -hmm. He has associated with local level, subnational, national, and international level projects. He has working experience with Marine Product Export Development Authority, Department of Fisheries and Department of Environment, Government of Tamil Nadu, Bay of Bengal, Project International, Government of Organization. He has organized and conducted various training programs and awareness programs on HRD, environment, safety at sea, hygienic handling of fish, good practices in the fish markets, code of contact of responsible fisheries, etc. He has also taken an important role in designing and converting deep sea fishing boat for tuna fishing and on-board training. He has the credit of introducing solar energy in fishing crafts. He is the founder chair of IEEE Artisanal Deep Sea Fishers site and supported students to undertake technology-oriented projects. His positions and awards in IEEE include coordinator of IEEE site Madras section, former chair of IEEE site Madras section, former chair of IEEE artisanal deep sea fishers site, member Society on Social Implications of Technology, member IEEE Ocean Engineering Society, member IEEE Power and Energy Society, member IEEE site, IEEE site fellow for presenting a paper at California and a paper at Athens, Greece. IEEE member and Geographic Activities MGA Achievements 2015 Award. Thank you, sir, for joining us today. Now, before moving on to the session, a few instructions to the participants present here. I request all the students to stay muted throughout the session. Kindly type your queries in the chat box, which will be answered by the speaker at the end of the session. The feedback link will be posted in the chat box at the end of the session, and all the participants are requested to fill it to receive the e-certificate. Now I request, request Mr. J. Vincent Jensa to kindly take over the session. Uh, thank you, Anjana Krishnan, and thanks 
all the office bearers of IEEE ideas of site. So, yeah. We are we would we are sharing about engineering and deep sea fisheries. Actually, one hour or two hours or one day or two days are not sufficient if you talk about engineering and deep sea fisheries. So I subdivided into many sections, and today we will have only one section. So just to want to share you some information about what uh, I am sharing with you today. Been sharing files. Been sharing a good idea. One second, please. I think the screen is visible. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, uh, before we talk about deep sea fisheries, let us let us share about uh, fisheries uh, and fisheries in fishing, not uh, uh, deep sea fisheries. Deep sea fishing, uh, fishing is in general time. Fishing generally we will do with the katamaram. Yeah, point yeah, you can see the students are requested to do not down. End of the session, we will ask questions and the answer, answer uh, giving the good answer or the most answering students will get special award from uh, IEEE ID subsite also. So please be attentive during this session. So the, generally the fishing, people use, fishermen use katamaram. The katamaram may be made of wooden, or uh, plywood, or the combination of plywood and fiberglass. Then boat, small boat, the length, the 10 feet length using less than 7 HP outboard engine, OBM outboard machine, outboard motor. Then boat, another boat, medium-sized boat, 
the length of the body is 26 feet to 30 feet using less than 7 HP outboard motors. Then D, large, 30 feet. Above 30 feet and 20 feet, 20 feet, 25 HP motors. That boat may be go for multi-day boats. Multi-day fishing. The small size and medium, they will go for only one day fishing. And multi-day fishing is more than one day. Sometimes three days, four days. So that is why they are called multi-day fishing. And for multi-day fishing, the outboard engine, they may use 25 HEP motor. Then trawling, gill net or long lines, then deep sea fishers. The deep sea fishing is, the, the, for deep sea fishermen, they use gill net and long line. And trawling net, that is a different case. That is a, for trawling, dragging, they use the net for fishing by dragging the dragging over the water or inside the water. So these are the fishing methods generally fishermen go. So any one of you, could you tell me how many type of fishing is going on are available students? Any student? A, B, C, D, E. Five categories are there. Any one of you, could you tell me? Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry for the delay. So now, in sir, the power band screen is visible. You know, sir? Uh, yes, sir, visible, visible. Visible, okay. Visible. So engineering in deep sea fisheries. Maximum. 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 We have a very poor knowledge in sharing. Okay, thank you. And again, sorry. So fishing. So fishing is the second most dangerous occupation in the world. Which one is the uh, the first most dangerous occupation? Any one of you? Students, non-students also can answer. So fishing is the second most dangerous occupation in the world. Which one is the first most dangerous occupation? 
एनीवन ओके सो इन इंजीनियरिंग यू वी आर कॉरलेटिंग विद इंजीनियरिंग इन फिशरीज बोट बिल्डिंग in boat building engineering is very much important navigation communication power equipment coast harvest and marketing so five major categories we have taken we have chosen connecting with engineering the opportunities for engineers in the fishing sector in boat building hull structure when you are making a hull of the boat engineering is very much required so when you are making a hull you have to calculate the speed and the material which you are going to make the fiberglass or wood or plywood which material you are you are selecting then how what is the strength of the boat then draft angle the the bottom of the boat will be v shape u shape or semi u or semi v that are the uh, draft angle of the boat then method of fishing each boat is ma uh, manufacturing with the for the uh, which method you are using for fishing it is based on the fishing methods the boat size the hull also vary the load capacity you are going for fishing one day fishing normal fishing multi day fishing or stay fishing so based on that the capacity the boat size size of the boat also will vary then type of power unit you are using either using inboard boats or outboard boat then the navigation another opportunity for engineers in fishing is for navigation and communication whether you are, you are using gps fish finder other economy uh, other electronic gadgets these are using for you are going from from the home in fishing areas you can use the gps and make a mark i am going this day from this latitude longitude for fishing and various fishing areas you reached and each area you are marking the this thing. then finally next time when you go to fishing you need not to uh, go here and there straight away by using the gps mark you will be reach at the area that is the purpose of gps of course you know the information and the weather warning you are receiving through the communication device wireless especially during the emergency situation but the problem is nowadays we don't have any uh, suitable uh, information and communication uh, dissemination the system only we have vhf and hf and sat headphone which are very expensive and it is not serving the purpose also so here the engineers are engineers are very engineers are having much scope on this section navigation and communication so students when you are studying from your uh, students level schools level you can specialize yourself so which area in boat making you have to select whether you are interested to take engineering in boats uh, boat making or navigation and communication all those things you can uh, prepare yourself from now onwards then the power equipment selection here also very much Uh, scope for mechanical engineers for example engines the nowadays ashok leyland mahendra these people are making engines for uh, uh, fishing boats not uh, on board uh, on road their marine engines also they are making they are making then outboard motors they are making suzuki honda and other so many company greaves engineering also they are making outboard motors and inboard motors then power for lifting a fish net or lifting some uh, big number of uh, big number of fish 
the vinches are very much necessary for lifting purpose and anger we have a, an anger to stop So anger is a device for to stop the boat while fishing or any other purpose. For lifting the anger also, we need the power equipment. Then water pump for taking uh, water from outside. Then generators for additional auxiliary power purpose. They are all areas engineers are having very scope and they can do a lot of research to improve next level. For example, outboard motor now we are using erosion, diesel, and petrol. You can think of to use solar energy or wind energy for this purpose. Then the post harvest. In the post harvest also an important factor in fisheries. Insulated chambers, insulated rooms are using for fish preservation. Ice plants for rice, that also for preserving fish. Freezing units, that also for preserving fish and packing. These are very much important one. These are the very important ones. These are adding value over the fish. A normal fish you are getting. Some kg of fish you are getting and you are adding the value to, through this process. Then marketing. So for marketing, you are taking the fish, sorting by species wise, and also weight wise. So here we need by manual sorting, mechanical sorting is very much helpful. Then for transportation, so we have a, a made a transporting system, solar power transportation system. Actually, that is for refrigeration purpose. Refrigeration purpose, we use the solar energy. But all other, running the uh, vehicle, that is normal fuel only. And you can also think of that. The engineers, you can think of that. Then method of selling. Whether you are going by two-wheeler or motorized two-wheeler, in a particular place you are using, that also you can think of various methods. Then action technology. During this COVID, people are not allowed to gather to engage in fish action. So what is other alternate method, method, uh, methods for action, fish action? Then market, large level of markets we have to construct by keeping social distancing and all. So engineers, civil engineers, you have very good opportunities, scope for that. So from the school level itself, we can think of that. Both naval architects and normal architects, we can uh, think of that. Then various marketing rules are there. Then uh, digital payment. Nowadays, payments are various uh, mode of payments are available. Any, any one of you could tell me, the, for example, for digital payment? The students are there or they are just to open? Cash. Hmm? Cash. 
Any one of you? Paytm, I think Paytm is a digital payment, mode of payment, Paytm, phone pay, Google pay. Okay, someone answered. Anjali. Anjali Krishna, Anjana Krishna, Anjali. Anjana Krishna. Okay. So these are the uh, areas where engineers can contribute very much in fishing and fisheries. See, this is the, the photograph of ice plant where ice is lifting, lifted ice and ice crushing. Various type of fishing boats, inboard engines, outboard engines, local fish market, and fish in the net. Net making, for net making, net making industries are uh, coming up like anything. Uh, engineers are having very much scope in the uh, uh, net making factories, as well as design of nets, and also design of engines. Various type of communication device, GPS. This is a fish market designed by Ajit K. The round table, very expensive uh, fish market. In the city, it's a city we can make this kind of uh, fish markets where you can lift the umbrella. It is like an um, it is umbrella with the solar power. And after even the night, I, the fish mar marketing is over. You can make down the umbrella. The next day again, you can start. You have a water system, good water, uh, portable water system, and toilet, etc., are available in this system. This is an, another improved version of fish markets. This is also designed by Ajit K. This is also foldable, foldable market and movable also. The first one you have seen also, that also movable. This is also movable. Other, another view. This is a single fish market with the solar, all those purposes. The speciality of this fish market is you can collect the fish waste and dispose have a separate area for that. And um, so this is the GPS. Anyone have you have seen GPS students? No one? GPS you have seen? So I don't want to answer from the chat. You straight away you can answer here. Please uh, unmute the uh, mic of everybody. The organizers, please unmute the mic. You know, sir? Uh, as I did, sir. Uh, participants, you can unmute yourself. Or else, those who want to answer, they you unmute yourself and answer. How many of you or anyone you uh, seen GPS? No. no, sir. Yes or no? No, sir. No. Okay. You want to. Uh, see the GPS in person. You are from which area? Which school?
so the back side of me you can see the life boy five people can come together and they hang during the if any accident in the sea this ring type of life boy is helpful ropes are tied over that and people can hold the rope and uh, same time four to five people can uh, get together in the by using this uh, life boy how many of you have you have seen this life boy how many of you no one else this is made in made with fiberglass and plastic fiberglass how many of you have seen this kind of life boy life saving equipment i have seen yes very good you avoid chat because i am not asking questions through chat i directly answering asking you you please also answer me directly fc bob merlin you are from so sanjeev yes. sir sir pardon sir from vilipuram vilipuram very good so though vilipuram is not much fishing area i vilipuram is a fishing district only but a very small area only no small area no no kotagupam you know kotagupam sabshiba you know kotagupam in sunamgara pardon sir in uh, pondicherry i have seen sir oh kotagupam is not pondicherry kotagupam is in kotagupam is in vidupuram district but it is near pondicherry kotagupam is vidupuram kotagupam is in vidupuram district but it is not pondicherry so only among the 37 participants hepsiba only have seen this life boy then we have life jacket also so actually some four years back myself and the angelin we have made another type of uh, angelin is our chairman chairperson of uh, present chairman of chairperson of adf society we have made a cylinder tribe this is circle type round type uh, life jacket life boy we have made a cylinder type uh, life jacket life boy with the gps so if you, a person using that life boy and uh, if you in, during the danger or action time if you swimming if you are swimming then you can find out in which direction the uh, person who is in danger is moving we can track the band we can track the fishermen or track the people so that we have made that project but uh, unfortunately did not get much appreciation then i would like to show one sensor water sensor how many of you could see the water sensor everybody hope everyone can see the sensor 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So you have seen now, right? Water sensor from the students level, school students, you should make this kind of small sensors. So the purpose of we made this sensor is when the people, fishermen, they use large level of fish drying. During the raining time, if the fish is in the rain, then it will spoil. So to avoid that, we can use this water detecting system. And even the dobies, those who wash the cloth for commercial purpose, 1,000 to 2,000 dresses are in the open dry area. And if there is rain, you can easily detect. So there's a small uh, sensor system for detecting the water. And the fire also we have made, but uh, the based on your inter uh, uh, interest and uh, your interaction, we are able to do many demonstrations. Unfortunately, no one is uh, are very, very poor response from the students. So, and I am also not good in uh, displaying or screen sharing and all. I have very limited knowledge. From my side also, very poor in making demonstration and all. And but unfortunately, the students also having not very much interested to involve. We have uh, many more um, sensors we have we brought here. And this is a, before the use of, before the use of GPS, people use compass for knowing the directions. So old type, you can choose the north, east, west. Then after that, I think from the in India, especially in Tamil Nadu, people used this GPS in the year 1990. Till 1990, people used GP, uh, Compass. And after 1990, people started to use GPS. The GPS is for navigation purpose, to see the direction and to mark uh, fishing areas. That is the purpose of GPS. So compass for direction, this also for direction, but you can use for marking the fishing areas in the sea. You can use GPS as a marker where we are reached. And if you go one place to one place, what is the distance? The purpose. So any questions from the students? I don't know. Any questions from the students? Or anything to be interest, uh, discussed? Sir, can you show the cylindrical type life by the way? Pardon? The cylindrical type life by you have made, no, sir. Can you show that? No, right now I don't have, but uh, I will. I, uh, I will. I will show you. You please uh, give me your number. You are from which place? Which school? St. Joseph Institute of Technology, sir. Actually, I am from Trichy, but studying in St. Joseph Institute, sir. Okay, you are from the college, no? No problem. Yes, sir. That I will arrange with the Bino, sir. Don't worry. Okay. Anything? If 
the, our participants are not students, school students also no problem. Anybody can participate in this event and you can ask questions or you can clarify some statements and some ideas how to improve the, the session next time and what are the What are the ideas to find travel in the sea? The question is, I am not clear about the question. The question is, can you, can you, could you? You mean searching, Hepsiba, searching? Epsiba, please unmute yourself and speak, ma. Sir, how to search in deep sea, sir? Uh, find the route in deep seas. You want to go for you no? Know, the post I am sin. I am not getting uh, your uh, question. How to find the route? Right. Yes, sir. Okay. A yeah, driver while running, while learning driving, he learned to drive and, uh, and he knows the route. The same, uh, same thing at sea. The people who learn for driving, they will study the depth of the sea. Captain, their, their course is, I am not, uh, I don't know the name of the course, but they, they study. But the people who become captain of the ships. They know the, the route. Pirates, pirates, they know. Even uh, when they go top, without knowing what is in their next, without knowing all those things, without knowing all those things, they are driving the uh, uh, flight. The same thing, the driver of the ship, driver of the boat, they have navigation, GPS, fish panda, echo sounder. It will give the direction. And marine map, or marine map is there, marine chart is there. While, while the, the boat is going, they know, okay, after one kilometer, after one nautical mile. So one nautical mile is equal to 1.85 kilometer. FC bar, one nautical mile is equal to 1.85 kilometer. So while driving, the captain of the ship, he knows after one kilometer, there will be a the direction there will be a rock, rocky portion. So he himself deviate the boat, the direction of the boat. So they have equipments for that. But in olden days, they don't have all those things. Only their traditional knowledge, they will drive the boat. Am I right? Am I answered? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Anything? Any other questions? Sir, how does the GPS work, sir? <laughs> GPS work with the help of satellites. Okay, sir. Next. Next. Sir, how to get into deep sea fisheries department? 
there is no deep sea department only we have fisheries department so uh, what do you want from the deep sea department or what you are expecting the any entrance e exams like that or just no, no, no. post no no there is no um, exams in this thing only thing is nautical marine science you have to study marine science you have a mechanical uh, division civil division some like that the marine engineering there are also so many divisions are there navigation for navigation they have separated course and uh, deep sea fishing is a uh, people who go go in the deep sea for fishing generally the by depth wise you can say it is deep sea fishing generally the fishermen of uh, most of the fishermen they go for fishing only up to 6 nautical mile how many nautical mile 1 km any one could you tell me okay very good so many answer we received received so by 6 nautical mile up to 6 nautical mile people will go and that is day fishing they will go and come then uh, 12, 12 nautical mile they may go for multi day fishing then 100 nautical mile that is the deep sea fishing then 100 nautical mile 200 300 400 500 1000 nautical mile depth not depth distance they go for deep sea fisheries where they will get deep sea resources large type of tuna large type of uh, swordfish and large type of ambara that is not rocky fishes but it is called deep sea species that is highly uh, costly also so this time this is the first session first session i limited with the normal fisheries normal fishing not fisheries normal fishing and also it fishing and uh, next time we will talk about next session that uh, i think i will discuss with the vinod sir then we will give, have a second session on this it's a series this may be a series of uh, sections sessions so this session only an introduction i have given we can ask many any question from the fisheries i i, I will be there for answering you and supporting you i think you don't have any questions so we would, we would like to ask you some questions ajit could you share the this thing photo have you seen any google form and please answer ಬಿನೋ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ಇದು ಪೋಟ್ರಿಕೋ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಪತ್ತು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಸೋ ಇಫ್ ಯು ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ಸರಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಸಿಪೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ಡ್ ಟು ಅಟೆಂಡ್ the questions are taken from the session only nothing is new can answer from there Thank <laughs> you.
so i think no one is answering we will stop sir Uh, so a few more minutes or something. They may thinking the thing. That's all. Okay, okay, no problem. We can wait. No problem. We can wait. So I will bring the the horizon the the cylinder type. the cylinder type uh, life boya to or i will uh, send to you your institution okay sir okay sir the so next time we can arrange a meeting in physical mode sir we can arrange a program yes sir this kind of meeting it is always good to physical okay sir up to march some friends are having exam so afterwards uh, we can plan and do this sir no problem sir. no problem So, uh, shall we start with this, sir? Uh, do we have yeah. anything more to explain? No, sir. No, sir. Nothing. Okay, sir. Uh, shall I call uh, Anjana to? Sorry, Rashmi team. Ah, Rashmi team, sir. One second, sir. Okay, okay. Sir, one student want to back a demand session, sir. Rashmi. Okay, okay, sir. Rashmi, could you back your demand session? She is from Arunachala Engineering College for Women. Very interesting project she has done. Sound right, Lee? What? Sir, Rishmi. Ah, uh, shall I start, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Please. Screen, okay. sir. Share the screen. You want to share something? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Let's go, Guru. Come on. Sir. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Rashmi, start. Ah, is it possible, sir? Hey. Can you? Please, yeah, please okay. go for full screen mode and start presenting. Uh, uncontact for more than 10 seconds it will give an alarm 
and you can on this uh, manually and uh, we can uh, we can um, uh, we can get the get an alert uh, soon after the device is immersed in our water inside water and this is c marshall this is another mob system that is uh, it uh, it has a, a frequency of about 121.5 micro uh, megahertz and it can uh, it has a coverage range about 12 kilometers and this is smrt v100 uh, this is also uh, an important mob system having an ias transmitter and it is installed already installed uh, vhf and IA, ais that is mandatory on all solars and um, this is an active mob uh, and uh, this is the differentiation with differentiation between an active mob system and a reactive mob system Sure. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to introduce what is MOB system. So, oh, okay. Uh, this MOB system works on the principle of real time kinematics. That is, uh, this is a technique that uses carrier based ranging and provides ranges. Uh, how it works means uh, it's a technique used to improve the accuracy of a standalone GNS. Sir, is my slide visible? Can you see it? Yes, yes, yes. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm going to explain what is MOB system. That is man over detection system. Actually, MOB is a device which is used for rescuing the normal common fishermen. Uh, actually, we designed it for our common fishermen. Uh, okay. <laughs> Rashmi, could you we, we shall, shall we show this next time if you are not prepared? Okay, sir, okay. Okay, we'll... uh sir, I'm prepared, but I think it's uh, somewhat uh, having delay connection issues. You have some problem with the, this your presentation. It's okay, no problem. Next time uh, we will have, we will take your presentation and uh, before start of other presentations. No, so in the beginning uh, itself. Shall I show demo, sir? Yeah, if we if we have the demo, please do. I can show it now, sir. Yeah. Hello, 
Uh, okay, uh, Rashmi. Thank you so much uh, for uh, making this presentation, uh, demonstration. 
and uh, next time also we can give some more time for you to prepare yourself and you have to practice yourself uh, the zoom platform or any other platform for sharing all those the screen sharing and all. okay then thank you okay, no, sir, thank you sir right? oh, oh. yeah. okay sir uh, anjana biril Uh, Rishmi Anjana is also from Kollam. Okay, sir. Anjana. Uh, yes, sir. Let's continue. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm here. Very. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Any, sir. On behalf of our Electronics and Communications Engineering Department, St. Joseph's Institute of Technology, Chennai, I would like to thank everyone who are present here, especially Mr. J. Vincent Jane, sir, for taking this time and providing us with your highly informative insights. Thank you, sir. My heartfelt thanks to our beloved chairman, Dr. B. Babu Manogaran, sir, Managing Director, Mrs. S. Jessie Priya, ma'am, Director, Mr. B. Sasi Sagar, sir, and our principal, Dr. P. Ravichandran, sir, for the support in conducting this program. I would also like to thank Dr. C. Nyana Kausalya, ma'am, Staff and Student Affairs, and Dr. G. Rohini, ma'am, Lab Affairs, for their words of encouragement and guidance. I would also like to thank our department faculty, Mr. Bino, sir, for arranging this webinar successfully. And last but not least, my sincere thanks to all the participants for your active participation and support. We truly hope that you took away something of value through this webinar. Thank you all. Kindly fill the feedback form.